Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really simple date night hair and makeup look. You want to start out with a cleansely washed face and then apply moisturizer using a Q-tip so as to not contaminate the rest of the product. And you want to blend that all over your face. Then you want to apply an eye cream. I usually use about one drop and then is half the drop in half for both sides. And you want to rub that all over, over your eyelid and underneath the eye area. Then apply uh, one drop each eye of eye drops. Then I'm using a, a primer and a dark spot corrector cream. Then I'm getting a Q-tip and getting all the nasty out the corner of my eyes. Then I'm applying a concealer underneath my eye and I want to apply it in a tapping motion in a triangular shape on both sides. Then I'm using a sponge to even further blend in the under eye concealer and bringing it up to the sides and over the, the eyelids as well. See the difference on the sides? Okay, then I'm using a foundation with a SPF 15 a sunscreen on it and I'm using my facial mist and applying it to the foundation brush and lightly applying or distributing the foundation not forgetting under the neck area all over my face then I'm using an eyebrow brush to comb the eyebrows and then I'm using a liquid eye pen to kind of uh, fill in the eyebrows with feathery strokes. areas I'm using a medium brown eyeshadow to just kind of fill in any any loose or uh, any empty areas remember you don't want to go too dark here you want to use a really light hand because you want it to look natural not drawn off then I'm using the eye brow brush to just kind of blend both the pen and uh, eyeshadow together and then using a q-tip again I'm cleaning up uh, the under eyebrow area then using a medium to light shade I'm putting the applying that underneath the brow to highlight I'm using the revealed eye palette uh, in Co from Coastal Sense and I'm using a mauve color, applying it to the lid and just extending it just above, above the crease line. And then using a lighter shimmery color to place just in the middle and then blend, blend, blending it all together. And then applying the same mauve shade that I put on my lids underneath the eye. Then I'm using a eye liner in brown and applying tight lining it on my upper and lower then I'm using a mascara to apply to both top and bottom lashes. blush just to the apples of my cheeks and extending it up to around my forehead. Then I'm using a bronzer to kind of contour lightly underneath in the hollows of my cheeks and around the edges of my forehead and also on the sides of my nose and then applying a loose powder all over kind of blending all of that the blush and contour and all of that together. 
Then I'm using a lip lock uh, pencil to my lips so that there's no bleeding. I'm going to be using a highly uh, glossy lip color. Then with a neutral shade, I uh, neutral shade lip liner, I'm going to line my lips, starting from the outer corners in. And the same to the top of my lips, starting from the outer corners coming in. just to input on the pout lines and again using my facial mesh to kind of set everything in and then I'm getting a baby wipe and getting make sure to remove the foundation of around foundation and powder and blush and everything that would have settled into your hairline For the hair part. Okay, so for the hair, you want to part down the center and then create a section or separate a section in the crown area in a circular motion, and then you want to secure that section out of the way so that you can work on the remaining loose section. this is we're going to separate in one inch sections all around and then get a huge barreled uh, curling iron and make sure you put the section all the way down to the end and just kind of twist it up and I have it on medium to low setting and you want to basically just do that all around your head where this hair is loose and so this section, I'm starting out with a direction going to the back. So you want to alternate directions. So the next section, I'm going to do it going towards the front, curling towards the front. And you want to repeat this, alternating each section as you go all the way around. the front you want to grab small sections and you're going to braid the two sides kind of loosely not too tight but loosely so you have two braids and you secure them with a, an elastic or plastic elastic on the bottom and then you want to start pinning and placing the two braids to form like a mini crown Just kind of uh, clean it up until it, you don't see any of the bobby pins or the elastic. And this is how it should look. As you can see, it's really not that much curl, but you can certainly, if you'd like, to add more curl look. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.